everyone, it's Haley Monlicky, your school dietitian here, back for another episode of Quarantine Cooking, and today I'm going to show you how to make my yogurt bark. So this is simple, three to four ingredients, nothing fancy. I just have a parchment lined baking sheet here, and then I have some vanilla Greek yogurt. You could use any yogurt that you have, Greek, regular, any type of flavor. I'm just going to use vanilla to keep it a little bit more plain, but anything you want. So I'm just gonna take a few dollops of our yogurt and put it right out to our parchment. And we're basically making this like we would chocolate bark. So instead of chocolate, we're gonna use yogurt. So I'm gonna spread this out. And you want it pretty thick. You don't wanna be able to see the parchment paper through the yogurt because when it hardens, we wanna be able to break it into pieces and not have it fall apart. So I'm just gonna spread this into a thick layer, a little bit more. And again, you can use any type of yogurt that you have. This is super versatile. And then we're going to add our toppings. So there I have my bark base, as you can see. There we go. And then I'm gonna add the toppings that I just have on hand in my kitchen, but you can add whatever you want. If you have other sliced fruit or nuts, seeds, chocolate chips, peanut butter chips, if you want to swirl in some peanut butter, Nutella or honey, anything like that would work. So I'm gonna do blueberries because I love like the pop of color. And you just wanna make sure that when you put the toppings in, you press them down into the yogurt so that they stick and they won't fall off once we freeze it and break it into pieces. So, I got my blueberries. You wanna make it colorful and fun. This is a great way for kids to get creative and kind of make this their own. I'm gonna do some pumpkin seeds for some more color. You could do banana slices, strawberries, any type of nuts and seeds, cashews, peanuts, walnuts, pecans, sunflower seeds. I could go on and on. All right, and then I'm gonna do a little sprinkle of cinnamon over the top. This is optional, but I think it just gives it a really good flavor and kind of makes it a little pretty with like the snow looking. And then I'm gonna do a sprinkle of coconut as well. So you, again, you could do chocolate chips, you could do anything. You can make these all different flavors, like do strawberry banana, vanilla chocolate, anything like that. All right, so now once this is done, you've created your masterpiece, you put it into the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes until it's fully solid and frozen and then you take it out and crack it into pieces and you have your bark. I'll keep it in the freezer just for storing purposes but this is a great little snack to have on hand for when you're sitting by the pool or you just want something nice and cool for the summer. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. For all recipes you can go onto our Facebook page at um, Farmer School Mohawk Valley, excuse me, or on YouTube at OHM Dietitian as well on, as on Mix 102.5, the Facebook page and website. I hope you guys enjoyed.